There's a lot of weirdos out there. I'm definitely not one of them. What is it about a clown? I don't know, it's just hot. There is nothing like walking into a room, scoping out the hotties, and seeing one with a big smile painted all over her face. Is it a disease? No. You can't catch bumpkinism. You can only choose to be a bumpkinist. I started blogging about bumpkinism maybe two years ago. Uh, I was in the forefront of the bumpkinist movement in the greater northern Illinois area. Back then, people didn't even know it existed. Even I didn't know what was going on. Not until I met Missy Mary. The story of Missy Mary is a sick, twisted one. A story of circus pretzels and lions jumping through flaming hoops turned into sexual fantasies and dark desires that built up over time. I used to go to the circus all the time when I was little and I'd see the clowns running around and they always made me smile. I thought I could make them smile in return. She is simply a pervert. I met Missy at a birthday party that I was performing at. She made me smile. If you're a young guy, go to some kids' birthday parties. Lots of easy single moms. Yeah. As I heard Missy's story, I knew this wasn't just an isolated case. I didn't think that it was a real sexual fetish. But then I wrote about it in a blog. And all hell broke loose. I got a hot tip from Tipsy the Clown. No pun intended. <laughs> yeah, I read his blog. Uh, I didn't think he was taking bumpkinism seriously, though. So, I threw him a curveball. Told him where a sideshow was being held. It's a gathering. Members of different fetish groups have different names for it. The bondage groups have munches. The adult baby crowd has nursery time. And the bumpkinists have sideshows. A sideshow is a meeting of the members of the group where they take part in discussions and meet each other. <laughs> I just don't understand what all the attention was about. You know what furry is, right? People who dress up like animals and do it? That's just weird. Although, on the other hand, I guess it would be pretty cool if I had a chick dressed up in a gorilla suit. Yeah. And then I could play the naughty ringmaster. Ladies and gentlemen, the show is about to begin. Mm. <laughs> Look, we all have fetishes. Some things people like, some things people don't like. But you know who the real freaks are? Them damn mimes. Oh no, I'm not into mimes. Some people like to cross that line, but that is just too messed up for me. Mimes are a whole lot of drama, and I don't want to deal with drama. My most controversial blog was about mime and the clown intermakeup relationships. Caught a lot of heat for that one. I almost lost my license. I just don't find mimes interesting or entertaining whatsoever. What's wrong with clown sex? Clowns are people too. Poke us. Do we not bleed? You're never going to find a funnier group of people than us. Funny? No. It was all sex, drugs, booze, and makeup. Every night was like that. Gives horny a whole new meaning. I'll never live with a clown again. Or a cyclist for that matter. Clown sex is amazing. <laughs> and messy. Trust me, it gets worse than just a few smudges on your face. No, no. Me? I'm a purist. I believe in having a clown partner. Come on, look at me. Makes more sense that way, right? Mmm. Yeah, protection. You know what?
There's simply nothing odd about bumpkinism. Some people are just afraid of clowns. Other people, they want to have a relationship with a clown. How many times have you ever heard someone call their wife or husband a buffoon or bozo? Think about it. As I wrote more and more about bumpkinism, the argument gradually increased. What is it to be a bumpkinist? Do you have to be an active clown? Do you just like to wear the makeup? Do you like to have sex with clowns? All these things are very important. The bumpkinists are a very opinionated group of people for a bunch of clowns. A snake! I'm actually not really a clown. I'm actually a mechanic. I just do this for fun, really. Um, helps me pick up women, and I get to be a clown in the bedroom, and bring this stuff with me, and nobody asks questions. Yeah, I went to clown college. Graduated class of 98! It doesn't matter if you're an active clown or just someone who likes to paint up every now and then. It is perverse any way you look at it. How is clown sex perverse? The idea that someone... Hang on. Hello? No, no, it's fine. I can talk now. She did what? The whole package of balloons. Yeah, I'm definitely coming over here when I... Yeah, oh yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna stop by. You can't tell me that nothing like this has ever happened before. I mean, look at this country when any, some new and exciting sexual fetish comes along. It's a firestorm. Do you have any idea how hard it is to tell your best friend that you're a transvestite? I know that pain. I think this country is too sexually repressed anyway. I mean, do you have any idea how big bumpkinism is in Europe? It's huge over there. Especially in France. Those guys are a bunch of clowns anyway. A clown just always seems to know what to do to make me happy. Watch some clown erotica once and then come talk to me. I mean, what girl doesn't want that? Dinky was the best. Yeah, I don't want the name fool you. I have tiny feet. I'm six foot tall and we're a size two in women's. A serious scientific study needs to be done on these people to find the cause. We do not need another John Wayne Gacy on our hands. <laughs> John Wayne Gacy, no. Uh-uh. He was a disturbed, sad little clown. You don't see any bodies under my house. But I don't even own a house right now. Uh, I live with my parents, and they garden a lot. Oh, one time I actually had a gerbil, died, buried it in my mom's garden. She found it, and she freaked out. I couldn't imagine if I buried a little boy in her garden. If it were some other group of people, like the Union, or the police, people wouldn't be so judgmental. But we're clowns, and no one takes clowns seriously. And that just makes me sad. I'm so caught up in it. I mean, I, I just can't stop blogging. I mean, I've almost got a hundred subscribers now. I'm gonna be a bumpkinist for the rest of my life. I don't know how to live it any other way. These people have made a choice and must be separated from clean society. Imagine going to a carnival and being entertained by a bumpkinist. What would the carnies say? I think I will probably end up a dinky when I want to settle down, but for now, I want to keep my options open. Besides, things are just too fun and wild at the sideshow for me to settle down with just one yokel. So, come stop by at one of our bumpkin patches, or one of our sideshows, or come see one of our main event circuses. You're going to love that. Just remember, we welcome all into our funny little world.